fine. Let's cut the drama because that wasn't exactly how it happened. But stay tuned to the end of this video to see exactly what happened. The show was going on very well until this happened. Oh, it is professional. It is professional camera. A small camera. That one coming. Oh, sorry. This camera. When you go. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Coming. Where are we? Did you call your camera? Let's go. Let's go. Are you done with the pictures? We go and stop that, my baby. Je voudrais du soleil vert, des dentelles et des théières, des photos de bord de mer dans mon jardin d'hiver. Je voudrais de la lumière comme un nouvel Angleterre. Je veux changer d'atmosphère. People are just everywhere in my face, just looking at me like, what's it doing? Just making me uncomfortable because my camera is far away from me because of the lens I'm using. So yeah, I need to get it. Hello. Sorry. I mean, it's free anyway, so yeah. I'm gonna do like a quick tour, even though I was told that I can't use my tripod, so the shots might be a bit, you know, shaky. But. I mean, if you are a lover of beautiful 
artwork and sculptures, then this is the place for you to be. It is simply amazing, like, come on, jeez. I am tired. It's about a 30 minute walk from where I was to the Eiffel Tower. Because if you come to France and you don't get to that place, please tell them what did they come and do? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I need to get water first. Then we continue the journey of a thousand mile. So I need you guys to get your popcorn and get your juice because we're about to have a conversation. So now I had this shoot recently. I'm gonna pop you up on the screen now. Um, I mean, it was it was even in my last vlog, so I didn't know that was gonna be the last time I would see my gimbal. Sad, yeah. So now this was how it happened. Let's go straight to the point. So. Now I was shooting here and okay yeah, it was supposed to be two outfits. So I finished shooting at the first uh, location, but then we moved to the second location. So then it was drizzling then. So because it was drizzling was why I didn't take my second camera to vlog. Just so I am, um, you know, as convenient as possible with just one camera instead of two cameras. Do you get what I mean? So um, anyways, now getting there. Um, I got distracted by not distracted, but it's just something that happens. Well, I would call it distraction by a couple of kids that came around and you know, just to watch me shoot and stuff. And they left, and you know, a couple of people passed as well, you know, complimented uh, my client, you know. So, but yeah, that was that about that. So now the rain got heavy and I had to like go back home because it was like 10 minutes walk away from the house so I had to go back home trying to protect the camera because I was sh** the camera does very one so um so yeah I was trying to protect the rain from touching the sensor because if water should touch the sensor it's a law she get and it's a new camera so in the process of trying to get on before the rain it gets really heavy I realized that I didn't see my game ball again and it was right behind me and it wasn't like I put it in one open space like that it was inside one inside one coral <laughs> I searched bushes like I was literally putting my head inside beans just to check if someone you know threw it inside for me and you know I didn't see if our people were looking at me like maybe I'm some sort of homeless guy trying to look for food in the bean and stuff it was it was crazy to be honest like even the next day i went back there checked everywhere i didn't see it in pokoli's voice no traces <laughs> what's the law so now the annoying part of it is whoever that took it just stole what he or she does not need because without this thing I'm not sure if the camera is focused on this, but I believe so. So without this thing, you can't use it, Jigger, because it has to be under the camera for you to fix it on the gimbal, Jigger. So without this, you can't. And luckily for me, this was under the camera. This very one I'm using to shoot, it was under it. So it's just pretty much useless to the person. Like 
What do you want to use it for? <sighs> Sorry guys, I just have to drink this. I just feel pissed off already, even trying to remember that. Even trying to remember that this happened is just really, really annoying. And um, I know someone's telling me sorry, but yeah, thank you. <laughs> I mean, but yeah. Okay, this is not gonna open, I don't know. I hope you have your drinks with you, so. Thank you for staying with me. But let's continue anyways. That was my first, sorry, that was my second time getting robbed in the UK. Now, the, the, the first one was, um, I think it was, yeah, it was the first week I got into the country and there was this gym I went to or I signed up for and it's actually a 24 hour gym. Then I didn't even know I was gonna like, you know, do this content thing proper. I was just doing it for fun, you get? Then I said, okay, let me just do it this very night. So less people around so i get enough time to do what i wanted to do so um i was even contemplating that should i leave the camera in the car and not you know record myself or i should just do what i wanted to do but something in me just told me that you know we'll just carry your camera it doesn't hurt and it was even this very one it was this camera not even that one getting back to the car i didn't know sorry i didn't know the deed has been done because whilst i was in the gym i didn't know someone stole my jacket already in the car now getting to the car i realized that someone broke the glass and my jacket was gone and i was like jacket really i mean it was shocking because i was like what what do you need it for you might as well just wait for me to come and ask me for the jacket and I would have gladly given it to you rather than you just messing up the car and also stealing the jacket. Like the amount that, that it cost to fix the glass was even more than um, more than the jacket. In fact, if not times two or three of the amount the jacket was sold for. But that was my first time. Now this is my second time getting robbed in the UK. <sighs> actually i have a third experience but i won't call that one robbery because the person involved is gonna watch this so i don't want to make any false accusation so i'm not gonna talk about that but i would say partially i've been robbed three times yeah three times so for the sake of peace because we don't choose violence here so i won't tell you about the thought experience so but now lucky we got ourselves a new one and a better one come on just just take a look at the machine just take a good look at the machine like come on sexy yeah exactly this cost about everything cost about excluding the camera everything cost about about 1200 so just in case you want to book me, put some respect on my name. Respect me, all right? When I give you the red card, just respect me, so. But yeah. Hey, I don't go press rubbish, oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>